So, we're going to be playing uh, Big Mac, unless it's Joystick Port 1, in which case uh, I'm going to have to do two separate videos and probably uh, delete this one. But who knows? Uh, I've lost a fucking uh, 2 gigabyte SD card. So, for the SD type, so we have to use the uh, the C64 full size. Now, which one of these is the uh, spark? There we go. So, this must be uh, the gap. There's gas in there, I can hear it. Right, there we go. Right, quite a while ago, uh, someone asked, uh, actually I don't know how it came about, but someone mentioned uh, Big Mac on the C64 and uh, I never had this game. Sadly, there's no uh, date, so, I knew it, because she put one in it, it's early game. Well, at least the camera's set up a bit better now. Look at those lovely colours. Right, we've uh, added the uh, underscore J1 ooh, characters to the end of the file name for Big Mac. And uh, apparently the latest firmware for the C64 does not support a menu option to swap joysticks. Even though it's fucking uh, two keys on the keyboard in Vice. Oh, and J motherfuckers, get on with it. Yeah, anyway. Uh, speaking of being in a bad mood. I fucking did a review of Ninja Warriors and I can't use any of it for some uh, anyway I can't even talk about why I was in a bad mood that day but obviously it involves uh, a comment on a very old video where I made a comment about a certain console big in America and they didn't like it Ooh. There you go. Good, we don't have to use up and down, hopefully. Bloody hell, the jump controls are better than Gianna sisters. And I know it's uh, Gianna sisters, because it was Gianni, the Italian uh, character, in EastEnders, Beppe's brother. Right, so you probably don't want to go on a bit with a hole, but then what the fuck do we do? Oh, you can go up and down. Right. So, I guess we have to do the switches. Right, so now we have to go and turn the other one off. I don't 
think you can jump off the rope. No. This is a two pound game. Oh crap, there's a time limit. Oh right, okay. Didn't notice that. Oops. a really good Masters running game. I would have really liked this, I reckon. Your character is really blocky for some reason. Yeah. And there's a, a working out stage with all this. Nah, that'd be too easy. Isn't it? Well, oh, because we have to set the switches. <coughs> Maybe that green switch on the bottom. Hey, I, I went over the green business. What's going on with that? I didn't turn them off, so. Turn them off. Oh, not the other two. Right, okay. Nah, why don't we do that? That's quite tricky. Right, so yeah, you've got to do them all again. I really like this game actually. Uh, I think I'm going to put it on uh, on the one gig SD to AEC I've got. Because uh, uh, I've lost the two gig one. Right, okay, so they should stop now. Tricky, you got to, there's something weird going on with the jumps here, but I know you got to do it now. So um, yeah, I mean, if if the joystick on the C64 wasn't fucked, I'd carry on playing it on here actually. Because unless you've got a CRT, the C64 full size actually looks better uh, on a, an LCD TV. And I've got the scanline options here, so there we go. Yeah, see, you have to go right to the top. I think it's the uh, joystick thing on there. Nice soothing uh, white noise music there for you. So. Yeah, I would have really liked that on the C64. It's actually quite a nice uh, Mastertronic game. Certainly a lot better than shit like Bionic Granny and BMX Racers. It's got more longevity than uh, Spacewalk. Trying to think of the other... Uh, it's better than Squirm. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd have to say that is really a, a classic... Mastertronic game that is. Okay. 
Nah, sisko itu juga ni ke? Nah, it's a terrible idea. Not playing Big Mac. Playing Big Mac on a C64. Not playing Big Mac on a C64, i.e. a real one. But all of that, plus uh, a non-CRT TV, looks shit. Now on a CRT it probably looks great, but uh, yeah. anyway, you get all the negative points of composite video, and then the positive points of uh, CRT. Nah, I've just picked up the wrong joystick, and to prove it, there you go, don't go. And uh, skip bang. Go. Now I'll play this one and uh, play it on the C64 full size Microsoft joystick. Yeah, that's shit. Uh, I actually quite liked it and I said uh, I'd play it more on a real C64. So here we are sir. Now we've got to do that one. So the first level is quite easy. Now I found out this game is 1985. Still good for a budget game in 85. Mastertronic only started doing them in 1984. And they were the first in the world. So they can actually drop an unlimited height. I'm pretty sure actually. I'm going to find out. And say, yeah. So that's usually a thing that you don't get on uh, most platform games. But uh, they've designed a level around that. So, you know, that's neither here nor there, really. Oh man, I want you to move forward. That, that's a tricky thing. So, I ain't done this level yet, I don't think. I can't remember if I did this one. Let's see. So I like Manic Miner, there's a quicker way of doing everything, so... Ooh. Now why can't I jump as soon as... Uh... So I found the quickest way possible to do this. Actually, there's not much waiting round, I have to say. So it's well designed from that point of view. So, yeah, for a budget game, this is... This is actually really good. For a budget platformer, it's very good. There are full price budget games from 1985, platformers that is, that are not as playable as this, so there you go mate. Yeah, you can't save time doing that, but... Uh... Hard to be pixel perfect with this uh, composite video. Can't seem to do it now for some reason. And the roll up's nearly finished. Input your name, the mad one in it. Mad question mark? Definitely not, mate. And the mad one goes straight to the top of the high school.
Well, that's a game you need need to be near the uh, C64 keyboard, so. So I think you can only do the white switch after you've done the red switch, possibly. So these are early days, so obviously you're not going to get pissed off doing the earlier levels. And it is a budget game. Can't expect a password system with a budget game. So level 2 is actually quite tricky, so... Ooh, actually we've done it in one go, so it's just this bit. So that might be the more difficult of the two. Maybe I've got the other one first. So I don't know if you can still touch that thing now, you know that? So I've got plenty of time now. I don't think there's a pause button though. No! Sometimes it didn't go that way, I don't know why. So I actually did it, and we should have jumped off to the other side to make sure. So the levels are quite well designed. <clears throat> I was actually jumping the same way as the uh, conveyor belts were going and that's what I'm trying to do here as well. So I've done it at least once. Maybe the timing is really tight on this one. There we go. Ooh, we've done another level. It's a very enjoyable game, I have to say. So I'm guessing uh, we cannot get any uh, things at the bottom there, so... At least they don't kill you. Okay, I'm not really sure. Well, I tried to jump there. tricky because when you one pixel on it see that happen ah right we're getting somewhere now go back. No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, you've got to do that bit last. Oh, crap. Because you've got to turn the conveyor belt off first. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, did you run out of there? switches do that so that is intentional but 
So it's a bit fiddly doing this bit. And uh, you're on the time limit with this game, so. But this level is a bit easier once you know the order. Am I getting an extra life every level? Right, okay. Just seeing if any other enemies come out. Oh no, you have to keep jumping that way. Mr. Wimpy, all is forgiven me. <sighs> that was lucky, that was. Yeah, you do get an extra uh, guy every screen. So you can really build up your lives then. Maybe you can't touch the force fields anymore. Or well, that'd be a bit iffy. I'm not gonna waste my last life finding that one out. Yeah, that must be what it is. Oh no. keep making the same mistake because I'm jumping right at the last minute. There we go. So there, ah, not this shit again. He's not jumping off. And the air's running out, god damn it. I'm getting stuck on the spikes. Slight problem with the game. Oh, look! He come up at the bottom of the street. I didn't know you could do that. I don't know if that's it. Oh, bollocks! You probably go on the ladders using that uh, possible uh, cheats. Unintentional. Well, that's a very good game. That is.